Okay guys, this is the first instructional video I've ever done, so bear with me. Uh, I just figured it'd be helpful because this thing was a mystery until I watched a couple other videos, and then I think I'm doing this possibly a little more correctly and definitely specifically for a 76 bus. So I got this, uh, uh, what do you call it? This uh, three-point seatbelt system here for my bus. I got it from Bus Depot, I think. Um, and let's uh, let's work on putting it in the correct way, I think. And if I'm wrong, you guys can all call me an idiot on Facebook or whatever, the internet. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is put your locking washer and your washer on this long bolt because it's going to go through this uh, pre-existing factory uh, screw hole thing and come out the other side underneath your wheel down there. And there's going to be a safety... Uh, uh, plate or whatever you would call it. What are these ginormous uh, washers are? It's a little extra reinforcement. So anyway, you're going to take this bracket right here, put it over that hole, and it's going to flop over because, oh, yay. And then you're going to thread it through the lap belt portion here, and then that is going to go, well, this is hard to do and hold the phone at the same time, into the factory screw hole thing and it looks a little bit like that so I'm gonna go ahead and wrench that down and then come back to you stand by okay finishing this up working that down nice and tight to the point where it's super tight but don't strip your bolt right on there it is so let's recap that You've got your, I guess, your lap belt strap right here. Then you've got that metal part that comes off of it. You've got your bolt, locking washer, and washer going through this L bracket screwed into the frame of the bus. And this could really be for any bay bus. Uh, I'm assuming, what, 72 or 73 to 79 range. All right, so now there's a couple more things. There's three more things you're gonna wind up screwing into your bus. One is this locking mechanism deal. And then this uh, is your upper strap connector thing right here. And it's actually gonna swivel. I didn't know it was supposed to swivel until I watched some videos, but that's gonna swivel. Uh, and you need spacers so you don't scratch up your bus right here. I'm gonna use some washers for tonight and then get some better spacers tomorrow. So, uh, you know what you just want to make sure that you're lining this up so it's hanging Nice and that the straps are all pointed the right direction So, you know, you have to mess with that a little bit. So I'm gonna screw this to this L bracket right here next Okay, so you're gonna use what is this? This is a 16 for this nut that's under here. Here's a nice little cover flap. There's a you know, this is the nut that's going through the uh, whatever you call this thing. And then you've got, uh, I've got an 18 in the back to hold the bolt. So uh, I'm just gonna give this a couple more turns and then that'll be nice and tight and safe. All right, so that is on there, looking pretty good using the L bracket. If you can see those two things there. And now we're gonna grab this for a little extra safety. We're gonna use this big plate. This, uh, you know, let's skip the lock locking nut because I think we need more later. So this is going to go underneath here. So the bolt, eh, you're not going to be able to see it. So underneath the wheel well, this will go up through that bolt and then I'm going to lock that on with this nut and that'll give you some extra strength in case of an accident. All right, you can see that. Put the light underneath there so you can check it out. Uh, this uh, little reinforcement to this L bracket right there. All right, so the next thing you're gonna do is bolt this piece here to the factory hole. Oh, the paint looks crappy. Uh, it's gonna be hidden by this. So you're gonna bolt this into here, but you need to shim it. So I'm gonna use this for tonight just to get through so I can drive my bus around a little bit, but then I'm gonna figure out some better shims. So I'm gonna shim it up with this. I'm also using that black little rubber piece so I don't mess up my crappy paint. All right, so I'm gonna, uh, 
put this together here and then before I screw it on, I'll show you what it looks like. So this is my uh, rigged up deal here. Um, it's got the locking washer, a couple more washers and then that rubber piece there. And now I'm gonna screw that right there onto my body of the bus. I also took off the plastic cover so I can get at the bolt. All right, so that's screwed on there. Got some shims going for now, but I'm gonna get some better shims. But basically, you wanna make sure that it swivels like that so that it can adjust to different heights and people and whatnot. All right, so that's on. Now we're gonna move over to installing that bugger. Oops, but we're gonna put it on this seat right here. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna to do to install this uh, job here is to take that black cap off. So I'm gonna do that. Then you're gonna take the long bolt and put a lock washer and a washer on it and feed it through. There we go. Not a cameraman. Anyway, you're gonna feed this through that hole and then screw it into that factory screw hole thing. All right, so I'm gonna get that going. And there you go. That is installed to the side of the driver's seat. I've already done this side, that's the passenger. It's locked into place. So then the next thing you're gonna do is, again, reinforce it with one of these giant deals, a locking washer and a regular washer. I just gotta find my other regular washer. Probably used it up on the uh, other things, the shim. So I'm gonna go through the seat all the way from up, you know, up front there, and then put, stretch my arm all the way through there, and then bolt this sucker on to the back side of this for more reinforcement. So I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna go in through the front right there. It's a bit of a stretch, but you can do it and you can reach it and it'll fit. Put the cap back on. Bam. All right, so there it is. It's on the seat. There's three, uh, you know, there's three places we're going to be doing some bolting and stuff. A couple last things you got to do is take this little orange pin thing off. Then you're going to want to close this covering up. I'm going to mess with that, but uh, this, you know, fits over here and it covers this whole mechanism up and makes it look nice. So I'm going to do that. All right, that's covered up. Take your time. Don't break your plastic. It's a little difficult to put that thing on. So don't force anything, it will fit. It'll just snap all into place. Uh, you're gonna, if it comes totally out, you're gonna wanna snap this in first. Then there's a couple of small little things that you snap onto like a bar right there. And then you fish this underneath this uh, lower part here and it'll all just snap in, so don't force it. Now we're gonna put this little cap over here. Cover that jobby. Mm. There's that. Swiveling enough for now until I get better shims. And there you go. One, you know, three point tension style seatbelt gig. That'll, uh, here it's going up right into there. there. Bam. There she blows, folks. Hope this was helpful. I'll be working more on my bus and I'll try and do some of the harder things. Here's a quick look. Getting there. My next adventure is to figure out how to put this back on and not scratch my bus because I already scratched it a little bit. But uh, there it is. And you guys have a good one. Take care. Peace out.